This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. And welcome to my review of the classic Mel Brooks film Spaceballs. And this is clearly a parody of Star Wars. And it was honestly just a lot of fun to rewatch this once again. I haven't rewatched it in a little bit of time, but it's just such a fun movie. It is pretty funny what they have a character that's sort of combined between Luke and Han in Lone Star. And then Barf is obviously Chewbacca. Dark Helmet is Vader, and President Scroob is clearly supposed to be Palpatine. And then you have Dot, who's supposed to be kind of 3 and R2 combined. And finally, you have Princess Vespa, who is clearly Leia. But yeah, honestly, this is just such a fun movie. It's um, pretty ridiculous stuff. There's, of course, everything with the best scene of it with the yogurt and his merchandising. But there's just so many great scenes throughout this. Mel Brooks is incredible with his writing and so many funny moments. Some of the best, of course, is Spaceballs a Flamethrower, Comb the Desert. And then another one that's not as talked about as much, but is the combination for the air shield. And honestly, yeah, this is such a fun movie. It is you know, a clear parody, but it's in love of the films. And, like that, and there's also some other fun stuff with like a little reference to Alien towards the end. And yeah, just honestly, it's just a really fun movie overall. I always enjoy watching it, and it is it's really enjoyable. It might be my personal favorite of his, although I'd say something's maybe objectively better, but subjectively this is probably my favorite one. But I want to know what you think. Please leave me in the comments, and I'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video. Leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.